Today, we're doing a review on the Comica Boom XD microphone. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. So this is about $150 or so at the time of this recording, and it's really primarily for a smartphone user. This actual one only has a USB type C connection. So that's something to keep in mind when choosing this microphone of what devices you're gonna be able to use it with. When we open up the box, we see here it is just a box. There's not a carrying case or anything with it, but we do have a small, microphone and the fun thing about this is this top piece is actually a microphone in of itself and then you also have an adapter here for a lapel mic as well and so we're going to be testing both using the speaker that's on there which i actually didn't know about until doing some of the testing as well as the lapel microphone here it does come with a usb cord in order to charge the device and then you can see here is the small receiver which would put into any type of android phone nice and small so i like that it's compact and then you do have an extra fuzzy windscreen in here um, as you can see there's nothing that's going to hold your phone so you do want to make sure that you are getting a tripod or a gimbal of some sort. A lot of these kits do come with a small tabletop tripod, but this one does not. So let's listen to some of the test footage. All right, we're doing some test footage for the Comica Boom XD. Uh, one thing that I do really like about it is the actual microphone pack. I do see here on the microphone pack that I'm able to monitor my level. I'm able to monitor how much battery life is left, which is really nice. And there's a button here on the side where I could mute myself. It also has a nice little clip here, so it's easy to attach. Um, the actual receiver is really small. This is actually a fairly small setup, which is nice. Um, but it doesn't come with like a mini tripod like some of the other models will. Um, especially at this price point, I'm a little shocked that there isn't something to hold on to it as a tripod. But you could always get a real tripod or a gimbal in order to walk and talk with this. So you're going to see that it's a little shaky. Um, definitely not necessarily the best angle because I'm just holding my phone. And so if you were using this, I would definitely advise that you get a gimbal or some sort of tripod. But let's take a listen and see what we think of the footage. It was very easy to set up, paired within seconds. Uh, it does come with a little windscreen, although I'm not wearing it right now because I like to have a smaller looking setup with my microphone. But granted, uh, with this angle, you probably wouldn't be able to tell if I had the windscreen or not. But luckily, it's not windy today. And now here's a test just using the onboard microphone that's on the phone. And this is the LG K51. So let's see how it compares. And one would hope that the microphone's going to sound a lot better. So sometimes it does pay to actually uh, read the directions. Not only does this particular microphone have a lapel mic that you can plug in and hook up, uh, it does come with actually an extra fuzzy windscreen if you're in really windy situations, but you can actually just utilize the microphone here that's on board. You're probably hearing my little man in the background, so apologies for that. We are actually just playing in our shed, fun, fun. But yeah, Let's take a listen and see what this particular onboard microphone sounds like for the Boom XD. It's something that you could then attach to a camera on a tripod uh, and not necessarily have attached to the person. I don't know about you, but I was quite impressed with how just that onboard microphone sounded without attaching the lapel mic. So I wanted to do another test by completely hiding the microphone inside my shirt for a nice clean look. So after reviewing the footage, it's obviously better than just using the onboard microphone that's on the phone. It was very dim. It almost sounded like uh, I was you know, far away, although I was like less than a foot away from the phone. And so you would expect to be a lot stronger. I did, however, find that I actually like just using the microphone that's on board right here, even tucked into my shirt and hidden than what it sounded like with the lapel microphone. And so if I was considering purchasing the Boom XD, I would actually just go ahead and use this device and keep it as close to you as possible to get the clearest sound. But as 
as you can hear, it doesn't necessarily need to be right up against your mouth. Uh, it did a really decent job, but once again, uh, the receiver is connected with a USB type C port. And so that might limit you and the, the devices that you're gonna be able to use this microphone with. I hope this helps you make a better decision whether the Comica Boom XD is the microphone for you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.